we're gonna change the oil on this girl. Just took it for a ride to warm her up. Yeah. Nice thing is it has solid axles. You can put the uh, jack right in. Let's see. You can grab a block of wood and I'll just do each side to put it under the axle. All right, this is a uh, 17 millimeter. Wow. Did I hit you guys? I don't know where that went. Oh, I just dropped in the oil thing. <laughs> this is gonna fall because it's too hot. Okay. All right, here's the uh, oil filter I'm using PH two nine five one. Fram. Say what you want about it. It's an oil filter, and we're gonna run a thicker, heavier weight oil in here. We're gonna run a ten weight forty with some oil additive. So I'm gonna lubricate the lip, <coughs> and because this is a side mount, I typically don't fill these up. If it's a bottom mount, I'll fill it with oil. All right, so now we're gonna put our oil in. I'm gonna use this Lucas stop leak because this engine does have a pretty severe leak um, on the front serpentine, the timing, uh, where the timing pulley is or timing chain. That's leaking out the front and it's leaking out the back on the rear main, so this stuff has never been opened. It was sitting in the uh, in the truck, so. I'm gonna put some base oil in there first. And we're gonna run a, a 10 weight 40. It's a little bit heavier. See if that stops the leak. Let me get a funnel, cause I know how this goes. I always clean my funnels. It's like a weird habit. And this is, um, put about that much in. And we'll take our Lucas. And this stuff is a little bit like molasses, but it freaking works, I swear. I put it in my Toyota. 20% um, of system capacity, so one quart, which uh, 32, so it would be this whole thing. So if this takes, if this engine takes uh, five quarts, Okay. Took me forever to find that dipstick actually. Before when I was looking for it. Alright, we're just barely gracing the surface, so let's give it a little more love here. Now one thing I might do to this engine is do a valve job because it does have a, a little tick. Um, they all do, but it probably has never been adjusted. It probably needs a timing belt and water pump too. I always like to put a little bit more oil in for startup. Kind of use your best judgment. Cause it's gonna fill that oil filter when it starts pumping. And let's uh, fire it up. Okay. 
probably gonna have to prime it because it's still filthy. There's been a few little things that have been bothering me. This uh, this thing's been loose. This headrest here. Um, the mirror's cracked. I might see if I can find a new one. It only has one bolt in it anyway. One of the things that bothers me most about this little guy is uh, it rattles itself to death. Like, there's so many noises. Oh, there's a crack in the windshield right here. I think I'm gonna try to fix that. But when it's running, this tire like vibrates because it has these rubber stoppers, like right there. But it's missing that one. So I think I might make one real quick with a hole saw, cut a piece of rubber out. I'm gonna do that real quick while I'm waiting for that oil to drip down. I'm gonna clean this back window too. I did the side ones, but. All right, here's the deal. I got this, I got the thread. I'm gonna put a washer on there. Gonna run it in. Drill a hole in this, uh, unless I could triple it. That'd be even better. Yeah, I think I can. I'm gonna go throw this on.